welcome back to my channel hope everyone is doing well so i just want to touch on something today that i've been thinking about quite often and that is just letting go as always if you like the video hit the thumbs up and let's jump into it so this is one of those things that can really make people who don't really understand what's happening it can make you really think that life is trying to play some trick on you because it in itself it is very paradoxical there's this thing that you want and you really think about it all the time and you really desire it and you can't wait to hold it in your hand but at the same time in order to get that you you have to let go so it's like how can i let go of something that i can't stop thinking about the reason why i say this is why letting go is so important to getting it so i do these videos called manifestation moments and essentially what i've learned through that is how powerful the art of letting go can be so how i started even with the manifestation moments was i was trying to work on my muscle of manifestation and the way i was doing that was if i can do little small manifestations if i can get small things then i'll be able to build up the confidence and the strength to get the bigger things so i thought hey even if something doesn't seem so important i'm gonna write it down anyways so just typical example of the one i did yesterday where i thought about someone honking their horn at me when i was going for a run at a certain place and then it actually happened on that exact place now that doesn't seem that important but to me i write it down then i have a list of like 20 different things in the week and they all add up and from then it just reiterates the fact that wow like we can actually do this there's a way to do it correctly but we can actually do this and the one thing that i noticed when i was doing all these things is that there's one key factor and that is the letting go part. So because the thing isn't one of my big desires, I will think about the thing. I'll imagine it in my mind. It'll be obviously in the state of the wish fulfilled. It'll be at the end because that's the only place that I'm thinking about and thinking from. And then because it's not something that's important to me, I will let it go. Like it's just a small thought that I've had in my head. It's not something that I'm going to obsess over. And because of that exact fact, that's the reason it shows up. Most of the time when it shows up, I'm even surprised because it's not something that's been on my mind the whole time. So that's where I saw this. And this is what brings it back to when people say, how can I actually let it go if it's something I really want? When you have acquired that state of the wish fulfilled when you've really put yourself in that scenario the version of yourself that doesn't have it dies neville talks about this the old you dies and you assume this new state when you really get to that feeling because the feeling is the main thing people have different techniques they have affirmations they have certain things that they write down all of this, I'm going to tell you right now, all of this is only to bring about the feeling. How would you feel if you had the thing? Because that is the most important thing, is the feeling. If you wanted money or something, how would you feel if you had the money? You know, you'd, you'd be relaxed, you'd be confident in your spending. You wouldn't look at something and say, oh, I can't, and lack wouldn't come up. Oh, I can't buy that. When you're able to stay in that feeling, then your subconscious mind will conspire to bring it to you. This is why when you do have the feeling of lack or whatever, it means that you haven't really assumed the state that you want to, that you need to be in, in order to attract that thing to your life. So for instance, when I was manifesting my once upon a time specific person i didn't have them on social media and i didn't have that type of interaction with them where i'm on this point and they're on that point and i can almost see their lives and i feel like a lot of people actually make that mistake there all i had like i said in one of my previous videos all i had was this image and i literally just claimed it 
I was like, this is going to be my girlfriend. And that kind of gave me the, the relief. Like, I'm going to completely leave it to something else. I'm just going to, this is, I'm claiming this and that's it. And so there, there wasn't any other interactions I could have with the person. And like I said in the video, how it came about where she randomly messaged me, didn't even have my number. I mean, I'll put the video up, but it was, it's just really a crazy story how it actually happened. The reason why that happened was because obviously in that moment, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to? I can't keep thinking about this person. I have the picture. I've claimed it. So, and there's no other source for me to be trying to like get her into my life or meet her somewhere or anything like that. It's just you have to just let it go and move on with your life. But that exact thing of letting it go is the reason I de ended up dating her for two years. That's the whole point of it. It's when you are able to get into that state. Another example. If you get a car, if you've always wanted a car, you're going to have that desire. You're going to have that want. What is the feeling you're going to get once you have the car and you know it's in the driveway? You're not going to wake up the next morning and be like, ah, I wish I had this car. It would be so awesome if I could get up and go climb in my car and go for a morning drive. That's not going to be there. So this is the problem when you have these desires that you want and then you can't let it go you keep thinking about it the whole time but all you're doing is creating the feeling like i said that is the most important thing of fear and lack like you don't have it and your thoughts it's all about the sentiment the feeling it's all about that exact sentiment of what are you how are you actually feeling because you can't lie to your subconscious mind that's why a lot of the times when people do these affirmations and things you're doing the affirmation, I am wealthy, I am loved. And it's the sentiment is desperation. It's lack. Oh, I don't have this, so I'm going to say this. And then you're like, oh, it's not working for me. I'm doing them a thousand times a day. But the sentiment is, I don't have these things. That's, that's the feeling. So you've got to think about the feeling. What would the feeling be if I had this thing? It would be gratitude. You'd feel empowered. Man, my car is outside. So good. I'm gonna go for a drive. Because the imagination is the cause. You see? Like, the 3D world is just the past. I look at the 3D world as just the past. The past thoughts you've had have manifested the 3D moments now. That was an imaginal act of then. So now you have to think about what's gonna be your cause now what is your what is your imagination thinking now that you're gonna get then and so that's why you have to stay within that state because when you get your car you're not gonna be like oh man i got my car that's so amazing and then one o'clock the afternoon you're gonna be like i wish i could get here but i just don't have the means and the way you can't serve two masters you're just going to create the lack of not having it and going to keep creating that. And and that's honestly, that's what happens when you, when I do my SATs and I do my imaginal act and I really get lost in them, you completely lose that desire for the thing. It's, it's very, it's weird, but it actually works. You completely lose the desire and you kind of just content and I think that is one of the best ways of letting go because something triggers in my head where I actually feel like I already have it. And so I'm smiling and I'm walking around like I've already got this thing. The feeling is so overwhelming that it, it burns away all the lack and all the fear of this world, you know, it just completely burns everything away. And so that's and so that's the power of it that's when you know you can truly let go it's not really about trying to forget about something it's living in the fact that you already have it so why would you think about it so that's just 
what I had to say about that. Um, I'll do more videos on letting go, but this is just my base idea of it is that once you really feel that you have something, you're not going to be, you're only going to be thinking about it in terms of how grateful you are to have it. Anyways, that's going to be me today. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up, share this with someone who, you know, has desires and things but just can't seem to let the seeds that they've planted grow and water them with gratitude and if you want to see more content like this subscribe come hang out and that's going to be it for me the old videos i spoke about before this are going to be there there and you can just subscribe over here i'm out peace